So let me start off by saying this. I've never been a person who's been into competitive multiplayer games. I love co-op, but the learning curve for most shooters has always been a bit too exponential for me. I find that curve to be unwelcoming to newcomers and off-putting when picking up a new game. Like when you spawn into GTA Online for the first time and a nine-year-old bombs you from out of nowhere and you have to wait like five minutes to spawn in again. The only competitive shooter I ever found myself ever getting into was Team Fortress 2. But don't get me wrong, I did like games like Halo for their campaigns and the gameplay, but the multiplayer was just too brutally punishing for me to ever want to invest time in it. Video games have always been a source of escapism and fantasy for me. I like to play games for their stories, the art aesthetics, and their immersiveness. And competitive multiplayer games don't feature many of those qualities. Dying 30 seconds after spawning and having to wait 30 more seconds to respawn only to die 30 seconds later just isn't fun for me. I can't achieve a feeling of flow state when I spend more time waiting to respawn than I do actually playing the game. I know there are going to be a lot of people out there telling me to get good, but the problem is that getting good isn't fun to me when the learning curve is so exponential. But PUBG changed all of that. PUBG was a brand new experience, and playing it with friends for the first time was so much fun. Even though the wait between games is sometimes even longer than their predecessors, the games themselves tend to last a lot longer in general too, depending on how you spend the first 5 minutes after you drop anyway. The thing about PUBG is that it's just as much a game of hide and seek as it is a shooter. In most games, camping is frowned upon, but in PUBG it's one of the core aspects of its gameplay. PUBG games are a straight rush from start to end. I got the game in fall of 2017, and I played it pretty much non-stop with my friends almost nightly. I'd never experienced a multiplayer game I loved this much. From annoying people in all chat on the plane, to screaming expletives as I'm unexpectedly killed, there is so much fun every match. Every match felt new, and getting kills or surviving until the end felt really rewarding every time. Sure, the game did have some issues, a lot of glaring issues, but getting from point A to point B was so much fun that we could ignore them for a little while, and after all, the devs did promise to fix them, someday. But instead they decided to prioritize adding in loot boxes, keys, and ugly cosmetics. Because fuck everyone who bought your game in advance. More money, right? But as PUBG went the route of EA's Battlefront 2, a new challenger entered the fray. I remember seeing the first trailer for Fortnite and being pretty intrigued. Then after Fortnite's Battle Royale finally launched, I was actually one of the first people to check it out, and to be honest, I was a little bit unimpressed. I thought the building mechanic was fun, but to be fair, I didn't get it at first and I didn't understand how to properly utilize it and I thought it was more of a gimmick than anything. For a long time, Fortnite was just the game me and my friends played when PUBG was down and PUBG remained my multiplayer game of choice for a pretty good while, and it was still the game we played more than any other to be honest. But over time, the glaring issues that PUBG had during its beta were ultimately left unresolved. On December 20th, 2017, PUBG had its full 1.0 launch. All the while, the game was still ridden with bugs, glitches, undrivable vehicles, and so many cheaters ruining the game for everyone. One of the things I liked about PUBG was that you didn't necessarily have to be good at the combat to win or to get a high ranking. Sometimes all you needed was stealth or a good distraction. But when it comes to actual gunfight combat, PUBG still has a very steep learning curve like so many others in the shooter genre. In a 20 minute game, you may only actually encounter someone for 30 seconds, and may not even see them or realize you're in a fight until it's already too late. Learning to play PUBG is hard, and while I respect the people who are genuinely good at the game, it takes a lot of time and patience. But honestly, why should I even bother if to this day, cheaters are still a substantial problem in the game? Cheating seems to be like such a revolving door in this game. It always gets fixed for a month or two at a time, and then the cheaters are able to weasel their way back again and start auto-aiming again. And it doesn't help that in China there are internet cafes that have cheats for PUBG pre-installed on their computers, coupled with the fact that companies like Dell actually advertise their computers as being able to handle cheats well. It's ridiculous. 
I honestly think that Tencent doesn't even care about this half the time. But as I grew increasingly frustrated at PUBG's lack of development and PUBG Corp's EA tendencies, the hours I spent on PUBG began to dwindle, and I started moving away from it entirely, in favor of more single-player oriented experiences like Final Fantasy XV and Far Cry 5. But then something wild shook up the world of Fortnite. It's no small secret that I have an affinity for cape superheroics. I mean, those kinds of videos do make up 70% of my content. So it should really come as no surprise at all that after the dawn of Infinity War in May, when Thanos came crashing down into Fortnite, I switched straight over to playing Fortnite as my multiplayer game of choice, because I love superheroes and I especially love crossovers. And to be honest with you, I've never looked back. The only disadvantages that Fortnite had at the time were the lack of vehicles and map variation, but since then they've introduced things like the ATK, the grappling gun, shopping carts, portals, and jetpacks to make getting around the map more fun and varied. Plus there's the fact that the map itself is always changing, and always something different, making every experience feel brand new every time. I actually found myself doing better after only a few weeks of gameplay. Fortnite's learning curve is a lot smoother than PUBG's too, so confrontations last a lot longer and there are a lot more varied ways of defending yourself, giving you more time to learn, and the game actually kind of teaches you to aim while you're mining for materials. Aiming for these circles to mine as fast as possible actually helps improve your accuracy before you enter combat. I think this is a brilliant way to teach players to play the game better without them even realizing it. And cheating has pretty much been a non-issue altogether the entire time this game has been out. One of the main reasons I disliked games from the PS3 360 era was that most games had a dull, gray, dreary, dark, deserty look to them. Just compare the aesthetics of the original Halo to Gears of War. One is bright and colorful, and the enemies stick out at you, and you know exactly what you're shooting at. The other kind of blends everything together, making it a bit harder to recognize threats, and everything kind of looks the same. Everything is the same shades of brown and gray. Unfortunately, PUBG tends to follow that same school of thought, with its vast deserts and war-torn Russian countryside, whereas Fortnite abandons that school of thought entirely. I love Fortnite's bright and poppy aesthetics, and the color variation makes it easier to find enemies and makes the map in general look much more appealing. Things look fun, and the characters all have some kind of personality and heart to their design. The game gets a bad rep for being a kid's game because of the art style, the wacky characters, and its popularity with younger demographics, but I don't think this game is any more inherently childish than games like Overwatch, which embrace many of the same superhero-esque fantasy tropes in its own art design. To be honest, outside of a game or two here and there, I haven't played much of PUBG at all since I've been maining Fortnite as my game of choice, but the few times I have played it, I have to say I did really like the new vehicles and the new map. The cosmetics have become slightly more varied, but still feel a bit lacking, though I do appreciate how wacky my character can look now. The game doesn't look like an asset flip anymore either. It feels a lot more like the developed game you would have expected, and it's a lot prettier than it was in July 2017, or even December 2017. But PUBG Corp has still made it clear that they have no plans of changing the way that in-game transactions work anytime soon, doubling down on the loot box and key system all the while, cheating continues to be a persistent and prevailing issue that's often mentioned, but never fully addressed or fixed in its entirety. In my opinion, that makes PUBG an unfair and ultimately broken game. But that being said, PUBG does have a few things I like that Fortnite doesn't. Like all chat in the plane, and yeah, I am that guy who plays Africa before every single game. Also, PUBG has a feature where you can replay pretty much everything from your game from any angle, and this helps you learn how to avoid getting killed as well as creates a pretty fun way to make some montage videos. I really wish Fortnite would add something like this in the future. But all in all, I think that both games have their ups and downs, but if I had to pick my favorite, I'd probably pick Fortnite. If you would have asked me 8 or even 6 months ago, I definitely would have said PUBG. So maybe, in time, my opinion will change again. But for now... I can't wait to drop off the battle bus and meet some of you on the battlefield in Fortnite.